Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at public private key encryptions with C Sharp using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. C Sharp and .NET provides implementations of many standards, cryptographic algorithms. So the RSA being a public key crypto system has two keys, the public key and the private key. The encryption is done using one and the decryption is done using the other. But normally the encryption is done using the public key and the decryption is done using the private key. So enough of all the talking, let's see how we can achieve that in code. So as you can see here, I've got Visual Studio 2019 opened. So let's get to, we can get started by creating a console app. So we create a new project. So we select the C Sharp console application. So this is a project for creating a command line application that can run on the .NET Core on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So we select that, we click next. Here you can configure your project details. We're not going to look too much into that. Here you can select the .NET, I mean the, the, the .NET version, or we can just click on the create. So as you can see here, we get in the. So now we've actually got new console app created. So we're not gonna waste too much time. So we're just gonna go ahead. So right after the namespace, we're going to create a new class. Yeah. So we're going to call the we're going to it's going to be a public class. We're going to call it RSA encryption. So here we actually init start with a new variable private static. So we're going to use the RSA. crypto service provider so we're going to call it csp for crypto service provider we actually resolve the namespace by using the system.security.cryptography yeah so we we instantiate it as well so it's the new instance of it So inside here, we're going to put how many bits? So we're going to put the 20 for the eight bits. Yeah. So the next bit is we're actually going to start um, this variable is RSA parameters. And this will be underscore private key. So the next bit will be the same RSA parameters so this will also be um, a public key yeah so we grab the constructor so here we actually initialize both the private and the public key so the first the private key This will be equal to the CSP, the crypto service provider that exports. So we export the parameters. So for the private key, we set true. And then for the public key, we set out the CSP dot export parameters. So here we set that to false as well. Yeah. So as you can see, it's not it's not really difficult. So the next is we create a method. It's a public that returns string. Uh, we call this method get public key. So 
So this method, we initialize a variable called xw. This will be a string writer, a new instance of a string writer. So the string writer will be under system.io. So we put uh, after the system, we put another variable, we call it xx, xx, and this will be a new XML serializer. So inside XML, so here we can resolve it. This will also be under system dot xml serialization so in here what we do is we're going to put a type of um, rsa parameter and then what we do next we put xx dot serialize we're going to serialize the public key so in here this is what we're going to put um, we're going to put a string writer xw and then our public key. Yeah, so this that's how we're going to actually print out a public key. So we return. XW dot to string. So that's what we do to get our public key. So the next method that we're going to write is it's a public string encrypt so we're going to write our encrypt method so this will take in our string um, the plain text to be encrypted so this is what we're actually going to put inside it so we grab our CSP which is the crypto service provider we set the new instance of it it's a new crypto service provider and then our csp dot imports parameters so basically we use the public key to encrypt the data and then a variable we call this our data to be encrypted. This will be encoding. So we grab encoding will be system.test encoding dot unicode dot get bytes. So we pass in our plain test. And then um, we start another variable this will be our encrypted test our cipher test so this will be csp dot encrypt so we pass in the data and then we put in false and then we return our encrypted test so we convert it to to base 64 string and then we pass in our cipher test so that's all we do for our encryption part so the next part is of course we go to our decrypt we decrypt the, the, the encrypted message so we return a string as well so we call this decrypt of course and it would take in a string which will be our cipher test so here inside of the crypt we actually initialize a variable which will be our data bytes uh, we convert from base 64 string our cipher test and then uh, csp dot import parameters 
so we grab our private key as well so what we do next is um, we, we get our, our plane or decrypted test plane test this will be um, csp dot decrypt so we pass in our data bytes and we put in false here so we return our decrypted test this will be encoded encoding dot unicode dot get string so we passed our plain test so this will actually be returned so let's come inside the main method and see and print out some and, and do some operations so right after the console dot right line we're just going to put console dot read line yeah so here this is what we're going to do so the first is the, we call, we actually initialize this class is RS encryption so it's RSA encryption we just call it RSA we initialize it then we initialize well, I mean we, we declare a variable our cipher test or just we just call it cipher and then this will be of course string dot empty so the next is um, console dot right line so we're just gonna say enter your test to encrypt so variable test will be console.readline so read the test that is written so what we do next is um, we check if if um, the test I mean string dot is not or empty the test so we check if it's not empty so this is what we're going to do we pull our cipher here so we equal our cipher to um, rsa dot encrypt so we pass in our test so we could say Um, our encrypted test is um, our cipher we pass in the cipher test so right after that there we could say press any key to decrypt the test so once that bit is done we're just gonna pull a console the red line here so once that bit is done this is what we're actually going to do um, a variable our plain test will be rsa dot decrypt so we pass in our cipher just to be decrypt okay so that's all that we're gonna need for now so we're just gonna run it to see what actually comes out of it now
Yeah, so this is first of all, we, we're just gonna show our pop, I mean, public key first. Um, so before we do anything, we're just gonna put here um, console.writeLine. Um, public key so RSA dot get public key so that's what we're gonna do then we just continue so here what we do is just gonna put a new line here so I'm gonna run it again So as you can see here now, we've actually got our public key sh being shown here. So we can write a test here. So this is the test to be encrypted by our encrypt method. So basically this method will be encrypted. So once we actually click um, enter so this is the encrypted test so as you can see here now we've actually got press any key to decrypt I should have actually put a new line here so once we press any key here we should get the test um, decrypted back yeah so as you can see the decryption decryption did not come through because we're just gonna write it we're just gonna print it out here so we're just gonna say decrypted message yeah so here we can put the plain test and that's it okay so I was, it was just running so I'm just gonna stop it from running there we're just gonna save it rerun it again so so this is the message to be decrypted press enter so it's encrypted so we press enter again and we've got the decrypted message here so as you can see it's not very difficult I'll leave it here for you to explore further right so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening night wherever you are stay blessed and peace bye bye